wanted to skip through and behind Lewis Hamilton at that time. Exactly, you know, it's, I'd say, right place at the right time, whether it was through the line or not, it was, uh, it is one of those things that put him in, in that position to, to go on and win the race. And then he had to sit there and make any mistakes with Sebastian Vettel in a fast car the, the whole race and um, to hold his nerve, which he did. So, um, you know, that's on to him. It was a great try. He, uh, he, he outperformed his teammate, that's the first thing you look for when you're a driver. Oh, this might be a little ridiculous, but I usually I cut these off to save a little weight. <laughs> I know. It won't make that much difference, but... So I'm preparing these and then I will glue these with, uh, I will just use five minute epoxy for these. And then in here and out here, I will take a little bit of regular epoxy and uh, because these are, all the carbon strands are in this direction. So if you hit it like that or like this or any other direction, they're going to split. So by adding a little bit of epoxy in here, it helps the shroud to stay in place and it also, and I'll put some here too, and it prevents these from splitting and it actually becomes really, really strong. So the mast has been worked on today I have wound the spreaders with carbon fiber we'll sand that tomorrow when it's fully hardened the transition is done and this is how I make my goosenecks cheap and very easy to do a 3d print this white part. The reason for it being white is that when I wind the carbon fiber it's really easy to make sure you have full coverage of the carbon fiber. This has been painted with uh, epoxy. One extra time you can see some drips here of epoxy that I will sand tomorrow. But this piece got an extra one right here super easy to make 3d prints in about an hour on my machine and you can see how it fits on the mast and then you just use carbon fiber strands and epoxy and and then this is an m4 and a small hole where i will make a um, for the down hole on the on the main sail so super easy super cheap and uh, I'll be happy to share that on Thingiverse or just contact me and I'll I'll send it to you so that's STL file and I have those for different diameter masts this is 18 millimeters which is close to three quarter inch maybe and that vicinity yep so here we are a week later and I just spilled a lot of time uh, 3d printing and fixing my 3d printer to try to do the sail track and the sail tracks are over here nothing wrong with them other than when you when you take th that bunch and you feel how much weight that adds to the mast I got a little cheap I got I don't know cheap or well I made this first mast for Kookaburra 3 around carbon just sprayed a little bit of uh, clear coat on it and I will build this as light as I can so tonight I installed the 
adjustment or the wires for the jumper spreader and I will continue tomorrow and do the other it's raining outside and I can do this but I, it's so much easier when you can put the boat outside and and uh, rig it outside so I will I will do that tomorrow or Tuesday but I spill a lot of time plus I traveled last week so sorry for late video doing the best I can working more than full time and trying to have a YouTube channel we are now 550 oops 555 subscribers and I want to thank everyone for subscribing and I'm trying to do this without clickbaits or any other you know marketing is just if you like model boats and think this is cool what I do then please join you know please subscribe it helps I'm sorry they're showing uh, commercials now when you try to look at my videos because I'm not getting paid just to <laughs> get that out there I'm not making any money um, yep so I need to make a main boom and continue with the wires tomorrow night and um, it's time for supper here or dinner whatever you call it and um, thank you very much for subscribing and all your nice comments it really makes this fun for me so thank you very much and uh, hopefully the boat will be rigged by next weekend thanks bye